Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I hope y'all are having a great, great start to your week. It is Monday, or probably by the time you watch this, it'll be later in the week. But um, whenever you watch this, I hope you're having a good day. Um, hey, mommy. Yeah, Logan. Today is a special day because it is the first official day that we are going cold turkey party training for yeah. Logan. goodness um so logan has been using the potty for a long time i would say at least six or seven months uh, probably even longer than that honestly that he's been using the potty sitting on the potty when we sit him down or sometimes even just ask him like logan do you have to use the potty and he will sit on his um humble potty which i'll show you guys later but um, today is officially I say cold turkey because we are using big boy underpants and we are not using any more pampers or diapers or pull-ups. We are just going cold turkey with, with his underpants. So I'll show you guys what they look like. Logan, come here, let me see your underwear. Stand up. Stand up, let me see your underwear. <laughs> so not to get all of his business, but he has on some Paw Patrol underpants. They're a little big actually. Um, so what I just did, this is a pack of five. And I just took the other four and threw them in a the washing machine on a hot cycle because they're cotton. So hopefully that'll shrink them a little bit. Took them to Target one day last week. Um, and we went to the, mommy. to the underpants, sorry, section um, where the little big boy underwears are. And let him, I let him pick out which ones he wanted. So of course he chose Paw Patrol because that's his favorite um, show and characters and everything. So he picked those out and I got him excited about it. And I said, Logan, these are your big boy underwear. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Logan, you gotta stop. <laughs> um, so yeah, we did that first. And then I prepped him like the past couple days and was telling him like, Logan, on Monday, we're going to start potty training and you're gonna get to wear your big boy underwears. I'm like, what do big boys wear? What do big boys wear? Underpants. Underpants. So <laughs> I've been getting him excited. Mommy. Oh my goodness. I'm getting him excited about that. Um, just to get him kind of mentally prepared mommy. for it. And then this morning, oh, let's throw this out. Um, and this morning when he woke up, he did have on pull-ups last night. So he did already pee, -pee either last night or early, early this morning. So, um, he drinks milk first thing in the morning. So I got his milk and we went straight to the potty. So he drank his milk and then we set him on the potty. It did take him a little while, probably because he already had peed earlier, um, that morning, but we were on the potty for maybe like 20 minutes. And then he finally went to the potty. I like you, Mom. And then um, I gave him a Paw Patrol sticker. So some things that I've learned just doing some research, looking on blogs and Pinterest and stuff like that on potty training, especially potty training boys. Um, we're gonna do a potty chart, which is why we have this big, mommy, mommy, you too, mommy. Um, this big posted chart right here. So we're gonna make a chart. We're gonna track when he has a pee pee, a poop poop, when he tried, and when he has a uh oh. So those are the things that I've seen. That mommy. <laughs> He's on 10 this morning too, clearly. Um, and then he will get a sticker to put on the chart. His first sticker is on his hand. Mommy. Show you a sticker, Logan. So he picked his Paw Patrol stickers that we're gonna put on this chart. But um, we have some bigger prizes if he goes poop poop. So I told him that, so hopefully he'll get excited. It's So he loves those, so we will give him one of those when he makes a poop poop. And um, yeah, we're gonna start this day off and see how it goes. I know maybe some accidents along the way, but I'm um, getting him excited about it. So I'm prepared, he's prepared, and hopefully it's a nice fun day and fun couple of days of potty training and keep you guys posted throughout the day too and throughout this process. So we are a couple hours in and we had our first accident, but it's all good. He um, at least gets to know what it feels like to be wet in his, underpants versus in his diaper so I was like Logan you had your first accident I was like you want you don't want to make your underwears wet you got to go pee pee in the potty okay and he's like okay so we changed to some new underwear Logan let me see your honey butt let me see your honey butt <laughs> so he just has on some basic white 
underwear right now. He got for a gift a long time ago. So, some white panes underpants. And then this is the potty chart that we made up. Really basic, but just wanted to get the general idea down and I may make it a little bit more fancy um, the next go around because this will probably last us only a couple days. But, um, so it's stickers. He has Paw Patrol stickers. And then um, we will do one sticker if he tried to use the potty, like if he sat on the potty but couldn't go. Two stickers if he peed, which he did first thing this morning. So he has his two stickers. And then three stickers if he poops. So we also have a couple prizes for him if he goes pee pee and poo poop as well. So this bag, he gets to pick one thing from here. This is candy, he doesn't know it yet. Um, if he goes pee pee, and then he gets to pick from here. These are some new cars. I have to say it very quietly because he will flip out if he sees what it is. But um, yeah, he's obsessed with cars. So I just got him some little Dallas store cars. I'll get some other ones probably later on this week once we go through those. So we have the prize bag if he pees, prize bag if he poops. And yeah, so I'll let you guys see when he gets to pick his first prize and see his reaction. <laughs> You are being so silly. You walk around in, in your big boy underwear. So it's afternoon time. Logan's sitting down eating his lunch. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, we just finished cleaning up accident number four, five, I think. <laughs> so it's been a fun day. I think um, my battle right now is deciding whether or not if I want to sit him on the potty when I know he has to go because like after we give him some juice after lunch or um, just a snack or whatever I know about 15 minutes after that he has to go and I keep asking I'm like Logan did you go potty did you go potty and he's saying no so I'm like trying to get him to understand to do it on his own so that's my battle and challenge right now um, which he has not done yet um, if I wanted to sit on the potty, I could and he would go, but like I said, I'm trying to get him to understand that he needs to tell us when he, like, when he feels it. Um, the last time he just potty, <laughs> he, like, just sat and squat. He was squatting on the floor, like, playing with his cars. And he was like, Mommy, I had an accident. I think he's kind of understanding a little bit, and I know every time that he has um, had an accident, I've told him, I'm like, oh, you had an accident. You know, let's try to keep your underwear dry. And the last time, right before he had this accident, he did keep his underwear dry for a good while. So that was a good accomplishment. So we're, we're working on the little milestones and then we'll go to the big ones. But, um, after he eats lunch, it's gonna be his nap time. So I'll probably just sit him on the potty before nap, um, just so he can go before we go to nap time. And then um, we'll try again after that, after nap time. So. We'll see. Really quick too, in case anyone was wondering what I've been using to clean up um, the accidents. He's had one on the floor, so that was an easy cleanup, but he's also had one on the carpet and on the um, chair, which is like upholstery or whatever. So I've been using this, which is my favorite, new favorite, um, carpet and upholstery cleaner. It's by Woolite, Triple Action. Um, carpet and upholstery. So and it has this little scrub brush that goes with it. You click the little tab, like the foam starts to come out, and then um, you just start scrubbing. It is phenomenal. Um, I've used that for so many spills so far, I would say in the past couple months since I've had it, and it's worked better than anything that I've ever had in the past. So shout out to Willite on this note, and I will keep using it for um, until I find something better, but so far, this is, this is my new favorite. All right, guys, so it is after nap time. So Logan had his nap. <laughs> and he wore um, some pull-ups during his nap time, which I'm thankful to God that he did. Um, I think realistically, we're going to focus probably in the next few days on um, focusing on just the party during the day. And then um, we'll focus on kind of night training probably in the next few Hello. days after that is successful. Um, I say I'm glad Hello. that he had a pull up on because he Hello. made a huge poop while he was Hello. sleeping. So um, he typically has either a big Hello. poop when he wakes up or after Hello. his nap. So that was, I guess, the poop Hello. that he had while he was napping. Hello. And um, he just woke up. <laughs> and he's sitting on the big boy potty in our bathroom. Um, he said he had to finish going poopy. So we'll see Hello. if he has any more poopies left. Hello. Hello. Awesome. Um, Hello. Logan, you gotta go poopy? Yes. And peepees? 
Let me get poopies. Poopies? All right, let me see you make some poopies, okay? So you can get a prize. Yay. Yay. So I'm trying to get him excited <laughs> with these prizes. Um, he did use the potty right before he went to nap. Can I sat him on there? And um, he got a lollipop, so he's excited about that. So hopefully that builds some excitement to keep using it the rest of the night. But we'll see how it goes. I think earlier before his nap for the first half of the day, we had four or five accidents. So fingers crossed for the rest of the evening. So forgive the ratchet appearance. I just pulled up at the gym. But I just wanted to make sure I closed out the day of um, our potty training day one. Um, I was just telling Nas, I was like, I feel a little discouraged and a little frustrated. Not with Logan, um, with me just overthinking and trying to be perfect and be like, you know, am I doing something wrong? Because I feel like, I don't know if he's grasping it the way that he should be. It's my first go around with this uh, potty training a child. So um, I'm learning as well as him. But um, yeah, he had, I think, a total of eight accidents today. <laughs> um, and I think the accidents I'm, I'm not worried about. I just, I want him to get to the point where he can um, let us know when he needs to use the potty and not just willingly just pee. Um, so hopefully if he can grasp that and get that down at least once tomorrow, I will feel like we accomplished something um, but if not we're still gonna keep on trucking and trying um, you know to push through uh, for another day and see what happens so I'm gonna keep being positive for him and keep um you know rewarding when he when he is successful so even during the times when I do just sit him on the potty I still give him his reward and still you know encourage him and, and get him to get excited about that um, and even when he does have a accident you know like you know oh Logan you had an accident and not saying like Logan you had an accident because that's not really encouraging and he's st still learning so I want to be positive with it yeah the only thing I'm hoping tomorrow that doesn't mess us up in our uh, consistency is that I know we have to go out tomorrow um, unfortunately for a funeral and um, it's in the morning so we'll eat breakfast probably sit on the potty and then go after that and just put him in a pull-up so that way we're not worrying about having to run to the potty because we have to drive um, like 45 minutes to get over to Philly um, and not having to stop anywhere and not having to change his clothes and all that stuff so we'll put him in a pull-up and um, when we get back home just continue on with business as normal and um, yeah so he used the potty officially three times today um, yeah three times today all of the times he either was sat on there by myself just you know telling him hey Logan it's time to go potty or I asked him you know hey Logan do you have to go potty and he may have said like you know yes I gotta go so um, those were the three times and then he had one time where he tried so we put all that on his chart um, something else too that was not very I don't say successful but that was a little interesting was him in his little treat bags that I have so I have the one bag for when he poops and the one bag of presents for when he pees so he you know got it the first time and he saw the bags just sitting up on top of the um, counter and on top of the fridge and he was like you know I want my prize with my prize I'm like no those prizes are only for when you you know use the potty and he was getting really really frustrated with that so I want it to be a motivational thing and not just have him <laughs> not have it tease him so hopefully if he uses the potty a couple more times tomorrow he'll get in grasp and understand that oh when I use the potty I, I get these prizes um, and that's the point of it is to encourage him to want to use the potty by rewarding him um, so that is where we are with our day one of potty training. If anyone has any tips and tricks, even if probably by the time you see this, it'll be like a week later, but we are still very, very open to it. Um, or anything that worked for you, any successes, any hindrances, just definitely share and put in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys have a great, wonderful night. Enjoy. I'll let you guys later. Deuces.